Talk to you, she wouldn't have given her number to your grand to give to you. Phone her back and leave a message. I'm nervous. Go on. You did it in the church as well? There wasn't a service going on or anything. Why can't you just go back to his place? And I suggested that. He went all shifty on me. Said his flat wasn't safe. Yeah. We've got mountain bikes. You on a bike? More appropriate for you, really. Look at that. TIG welded light alloy frames, independently sprung rear forks, grip shift gears, and some nuts and nuts. We're making a commitment to our bodies, a binding contract with fitness. What is he on about? I have no idea. I can listen to all the... Oh, babes. Hmm. He said his flat's not safe. Well, what does he mean by that? It could be anything. He says he's not married. Could be a girlfriend. Could be I'm so brilliant in bed he's afraid the roof will cave in. Could be he's got a gas leak or something. Being romantic just comes naturally to you, doesn't it, Luz? How's your daddy, Daniel? Uh, I haven't got one. Daniel? Uh, he's fine. He's still in Palm Beach. At least he was the last time he bothered to get in touch. But, uh, who's bitter? Not me. Sulking won't bring your mummy back, you know. No, but it might make him feel badly about marrying that woman. Well, it's not her fault your mummy died. Your father nursed her for years, you know. No man could have done more. Do you not think maybe it's time he had a wee bit of happiness, too? Chicken's lovely, Ken. Oh, is it good? It's, um, it's a recipe I found at the back of the Sunday Times. Why were you two in bed together? What do you think? Lucy? The floor's a bit hard and the top of the wardrobe's too dusty. Well, you asked. Uh, we're in love. Oh, well, that's nice. Is it the real thing? Well, I'd like to think so. Yes, Mum, it is. Most definitely. Well, why in God's name have you been so furtive about it? Because it feels strange, feeling like this after all this time. Strange, not at all. You've been in love all these years, you just never knew it. Oh, done. Your mummy would have been thrilled. And so will your daddy, when you tell him. Yeah, when you tell him. Lucy and I will do the washing up. Wasn't there something you wanted to show Daniel? think so. Oh, I think there was. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, come and see my new polythene bag dispenser. I think I'm up to the excitement. When are you getting married? Mum, hang on. We've only just reached that I love you bit. You've known them all your life. What are you waiting for? Babies. That's what this family needs. Get yourself wed and make me a grandmother. Nice to see the girls getting on so well together, eh? <laughs> well, here's to the two of you. And whatever you want to happen, happens. Cheers, Ken. You expect me to start popping out kids just because you couldn't? What? Is this my punishment? Your punishment? Yeah, for stopping you from having any more kids. Is that what you think? Mum, that's what you made me think. Telling me what an awful time you had after I was born. Spent my childhood blaming myself for not having any brothers or sisters. You white snatching bastard! Jeez, what was that? <laughs> Invisible man, that Mr. Dry Cleaner. <laughs> You're all right. Uh, I think this is what he meant by it, or else. You drunken fool! <laughs> it's you, the one that's the fool, throwing yourself on him, you. 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 Oh. 
Huh. Don't you talk to her like that! I won't talk to her any way I bloody well like, Mr. Dry Cleaner! I warned you, Connie, didn't I? Yeah. I said you'd be sorry, didn't I? And you will. For God's sake, that's acid! Dad, just calm down! Mr. Sullivan, put it down. Jameson! I can't live without you, Connie. Are you coming home or not? It's your last chance. <laughs> Unless you want to have my death on your conscience. Dad! Dad, no! No! Dad! No! Oh, Dad! No! <laughs> It's not acid. It's water. You, Eve. Get you home. It's not a home anymore. If, um, if it had have been acid, would you have let Dad drink it? Yes, but it wasn't, was it? Your daddy hasn't got the guts. You know, for a second, I thought about. Going back to him, leaving Cairn. I know it's selfish. Maybe I'm wicked, but this is my last chance. I have to take it. You really love Ken, don't you? Oh, I found the rock of my life. I think I have too. Supposing Daniel had been burned or blinded, how would you have felt about that? Could you spend the rest of your life looking after him? Oh, Mum, you can't ask questions like that. All I knew was I loved Daniel and nothing else mattered. Fantasy 